Now to our classic car, car week coverage over in Pebble Beach. Another set of more than 100 classic cars are on display, and there's some beauties <laughs> out there. Uh, from European sports cars to race cars, the Gooding Auctions preview day impressed spectators and potential buyers alike. Gooding Auction is set to break its sales record with several superstar cars, like a 1966 Ferrari. Uh, it was first built for a U.S. distributor. Uh, this car sits in sits three in front, and the wheel is in the middle. Really unique. Also on the cutting edge, the BM, BMW i8, also sure to be a showstopper. The BMW i8 is, uh, is the biggest thing this year, and maybe for a couple of years, uh, from, from BMW. We're incredibly honored to have it. It's a, a special one-off edition that was done. Uh, they're calling it the Pebble Beach Concord Elegance Special Edition. The auction itself begins this Saturday at 5 o'clock and then Sunday at 6 p.m. at Pebble Beach. Monterey Car Week, of course, includes multi-million dollar auctions, and they're happening all over. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker is live tonight after taking a look at two of those auctions. Dan, there's more than a hundred million dollars worth of cars here at just this one auction. There's newer and older cars, older like this 1938 Mercedes-Benz Cabriolet. Now, car lovers that I've spoke with today say the event is more than just prestige. The sound of the engine and the feel of the steering wheel gives these car lovers an adrenaline rush. Feeling, it, it's all the senses. So the first feeling is when I walk up and I see how beautiful the car is, the lines, the color, the style. When I get in, the smell of the car is wonderful. For one car fan at the preview day, his trip to the glitzy event is so he can size up the type of cars he'll look for hidden in West Texas barns. I mean, I've found everything from 1904 Rios to 1930 Rolls to 1914 Cadillac I found in a barn. So I'm just, you know, I'm a car guy, but pickups are my deal. You would think that a car covered in dirt like this one would be a turnoff, but for the restoring type, it's a treasure. So back in the late 40s when the boom was there, guys would buy cars, and when they could run in or blow an engine, they would just sock them in their barn, nobody to fix them. So that's what I look for, like, you know, they're under bales of hay and you know no they don't know how to you know and they don't know what they are usually even with the dirt this car is set to sell for seventy five thousand dollars or more the 1962 ferrari 250 gto on the other hand is set to break the bonham's 30 million dollar sales record so whether you're a ferrari lover or an old truck kind of person the car events this week are sure to give you your classic car fix well it's the best uh, event in the world Now, that we met people from all over the world today, Argentina and different parts of Europe, and the auction actually begins tomorrow and runs through Friday. Dan, Aaron? Very good. All right. Thank you very much, Brent. Along with several other classic car auctions, uh, the Quail and Bottoms auction begin tomorrow. They run through Friday.